eight thirty. It's eight thirty in the morning, week three. Um, I drove the truck out to pick up G from work this morning. We got out here and uh, we found that cheater buck we were looking for last week or the week before that. Um, but we're a little disappointed because he broke off his back tine and his biggest cheater. They just went over the ridge from us. He was running pretty hard. He's with a bunch of does, so we have a minute. Yeah. We're just in a predicament, so we'll see what we decide. Okay, so Taylor's decided we're gonna get it on this deer. We saw him up close for the first time this morning, and he looks really good. He broke all like two of his points, like we said, so it made me hesitate, but. He's a big buck, though. I mean, it's, yeah. it's unfortunate, but, you know. Yeah. So, we have history with him, so it'll yeah. be cool. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. Let's go get him. All right, guys. So, of course, when it gets intense and it's the most important part, our mic stopped working, so we don't have any audio for the rest of our stock, but in this video, I was just explaining that we were sitting 200 yards from him and that it was gonna happen. In this video, I was just explaining that he had ran down the draw and we saw him go down and we were getting ready to go check him out. buck I'm super happy with him so this is the buck we saw two weeks before the season opened and then we didn't find him again till now which is three weeks into the season so when we found him he had another cheater right here and then he also had this whole fork right here this time and that also had a cheater going off of it so we might get him fixed up to how he was when we found him but so happy with him. 
the double eye guard. Really awesome buck. I'm so happy, stoked. When we were coming out here today, I was holding out hope that he was here still and he's one of the first bucks we saw. So super excited and now the work begins. In this moment, I had a lot of trouble putting my emotions into words. We have so much respect for these animals. The best word that I can think of that describes these emotions is just grateful. There's just something about taking an old mule deer that is indescribable. All right, so we were heading back to the truck. Got our old cheater back there. And the fuel pump went out on the ranger so oh yeah now yeah. we get to walk back Broke. to the truck so oh yeah right there <laughs> supposed to be right there for a long ways so we have a long walk ahead of us yep yay all right so it has been what two and a half hours of hiking so far the sun is going down but we are getting close to the truck i'm curious to see how many miles this is um we'll map it back out when we take the truck in to get the side by side so we'll keep you updated on that but yeah taylor is having an absolute blast That's great way like to end the day <laughs> yeah but oh, i'm getting there all right we have arrived at the truck it is a sight for sore eyes so now we just have to drive all the way back in there and get the side by side, figure out how to load that. And then decide what we're doing with the meat. We might just go to camp, meet Taylor's dad tonight, and then go from there. It's going to get pretty cold at night, so the meat will be fine. But Long night. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> to get her locked and loaded so we are headed to camp we'll see if my dad and my uncle are awake it was a bit of a cold one last night <laughs> So it is the next morning. We didn't go to bed till three last night because my dad was out looking for us. <laughs> so we, we just couldn't go to sleep. We didn't know if we should go look for them or not, but we decided to stay put and then they came back at like two two o'clock. So it was a long night last night. We slept in this morning, um, but now we're out here. We found what looks to be a pretty solid buck, so. We're gonna probably get a better look at him tonight and decide if we want to come after him or not, but he's probably 28 inches wide, heavy, and just looks like solid buck, so. Yep, big mature buck, so we'll see what he is. She spotted a buck um, when we were driving in this morning. He just barely caught it going over the ridge and looked like a really good buck. Um, and we tried to go onto that backside and try and find him, um, glass back at it, but he wasn't there. So we just started glassing and he was already like all the way across the valley. He crossed the entire valley. Um, so we found him. And we're headed over there right now. He's moving a lot. I think he's looking for does. We're hoping maybe he slowed down, took a break. <laughs> oh gosh, that's cool. Tines on his. Oh. Yeah, but with the, with the wire. Oh, there's a coyote right in yeah. front of him. Oh, oh, yeah. It was a badger. Yeah. I think it was a badger. Put a good stock on him. We weren't for sure if he was still going to be there. 
thought he was. It turned out to not be as big as we thought, so we ended up not shooting. But we got on him, did our job, got the gun on him. He could have shot, but wasn't what we're looking for. So now we're going to just keep looking and see what else we can find. Hopefully get it done. quite a few bucks um one that we think was a shooter we weren't 100% sure but we just tried to go get a better look at him because again he was too far and we found all of his does that he was with um and didn't find him so that was kind of frustrating um but we'll see if we turn in or anything else up the rest of the night and if not we'll come back in the morning No, I'm just making a mess here. I mean, he's deep. He's nice, but yeah. he's not anything special. Is that a little crabby on the mm. left rear there? It might be. There's definitely three on the left. Yeah. No. He's a three on both sides. That buck from yesterday, baby. He's a really nice buck. We got on him this just now. Just didn't get a shot. buck today my dad missed but it was a pretty tough shot it was, it was a tough situation i mean where we had to stock in by the time we were able to get a shot he would see us so it was tough yeah it was definitely a tough shot but we found another buck this evening that is pretty big as well yeah, um so yeah he's awesome he's probably 30 inches wide he has a cheater he's pretty cool The plan is to hopefully find him in the morning. We only have the morning tomorrow, so. Oh, fingers crossed. I'm really hoping he's there. He's moving a lot, so we're a little nervous, but. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, fingers crossed. All right, guys, um, it is the next morning. We have a flat tire, so we're trying to figure that out. We just um, plugged a slit in the sidewall, but the tire's not airing up. While we've been trying to figure that out, I think we possibly found the buck from yesterday. Um, we didn't get to where we wanted to be this morning to look for him, but we might have found him. He's super far away, so it's hard to tell, but it's just a big frame buck. So, we still have a chance. Hopefully our luck changes a little bit for my dad's hunt today, but we'll see. This is our last morning, so we'll need a lot of it. We found that buck. We still don't know exactly what he is. We don't know if he's that same buck that from last night. We're just going after him right now, putting stock on him. 
you know, the general area where they're at. So we're hoping we can go in there and pull it off. There's a big group of deer. We don't know if they were all bedded in the same spot or not. So we're just gonna give her our last Hail Mary. Hopefully we find him and hopefully we have a nice surprise and it's him. Just under him. No, you got him. You got him. Low, low, low. Yeah, he's hit. He's hit. He's you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we done oh my it. God. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's him. Oh, it's him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Got her done. What do you guys think? Awesome. Flat, Robert, flat, get in there. Flat tire and all. Oh, 400 yard oh shot God, smoked. Dad. It was the buck from last night. <laughs> the one we were after. Didn't have super high hopes today. We got, we got a flat tire on the way in. Had to fix that. And then, oh, good job, but it was man. meant to be because we spotted oh. these deer that moving up that we wouldn't have seen the last morning we had to leave if this didn't work out today so. uh. <laughs> nice shooting wow. oh my god <laughs> oh, there's my cheater <coughs> oh man look at the mass yeah he is beautiful holy smokes <laughs> wow <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Can't ask for more than that. Holy crap. <sighs> Count my cheater. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. <sighs> My dad's hunt was full of highs and lows. We would find bucks we wanted to go after, but could never get that last bit of luck we needed to finish it. We really cut it down to the wire, but that only made the victory that much sweeter. Before the video ends, I want to say a few words. Hunting is such a huge part of who I am, and I have my dad to thank for that. From the time I knew what the word hunting was, I could not wait to go. To fill our tags with not one, but two stud bucks together this season is just unreal. And time spent together that none of us will ever forget. Hunting has always been mine and my dad's special thing to do together, and I'm forever grateful for that. I also want to thank my husband for everything he does. He pulled long, long hours hunting after getting off night shifts so we could hunt every chance we got. I'm so thankful I found someone that not only shares my passion for hunting, but is the most amazing person I know. So a big thank you to my dad for being the best dad a girl could ask for, and to my husband for everything you do. Also big thank you and shout out to my uncle for always making things entertaining and always being the hype man.